Well, in today's video, guys, we're going to talk about something that's kind of like a new phenomenon I've noticed. They're calling it Dad Rock. Well, I have one. How about you? off the mark somehow. Is, is that not what it means? No? Oh, maybe it's something derogatory or demeaning. Maybe that could be it. Yeah, maybe that's it. Well, welcome to Rock Hard Riffs. This is the guitar channel for the self-taught dad rock. Kind of a newer phenomenon. Uh, of course, it's meant to be derogatory towards, say, older guys playing guitars and stuff like that. I get it. Haha. -ha. Well, yeah, I can see it. It's uh, everybody has to rebel, and uh, to a certain degree, that's understandable. You know, the dad rock phenomenon, kind of funny. Well, it kind of happens these days, you know, uh, it's the blind rebellion, as I call it. You're rebelling, but you just don't know why or what for. And it, uh, this was expressed in a movie decades and decades ago. It was called The Wild One with Marlon Brando. And they asked him, what are you rebelling against? And he said, oh, what do you got? Right? So he didn't really know what he was rebelling against. He just knew that he felt like he needed to rebel against something. And uh, that's understandable because I'm a rebel without a pause. But at the same time, I want to think about what I'm rebelling against. I want to educate myself and know what the hell it is that I'm trying to uh, fight against. That'd probably be a wise idea, don't you think? Maybe? Maybe not. But... Uh, what you could call, gosh, today, like Grandpa Rock, would be Chuck Berry's and those guys. Now, if you sat down and listened to them play the guitar, good luck, right? Good luck keeping up. Those guys can play the hell out of it, and they aren't using any distortion either. So you got to think about that. Now... Classical music. Now, what are we going to call that? Dinosaur music? No, I, I don't. Because I've made several videos so far suggesting that we take like an old song and make something new out of it. I would never think of any kind of music as dad rock or mom rock or dad music or mom music or anything like that. I just take something I like and try to expand on it, uh, do something, throw my own twist on it. Now, whether that becomes new music, or what have you, or just new old music, whatever it might be. So what? It's music. And that's what this is about. This is all about music. Not eras, or generations, or what's better and what's worse, etc. I'm just talking about good music. I don't care what era it comes from. I'm a big jazz standards fan. I love the old classic jazz stuff. You listen to those players. Those guys would go into a recording session and lay their stuff down in one take. One take. Why? Because that's how freaking good they were. That's how much they studied their instrument. They really, really studied their whatever they were playing. Piano, saxophone, guitar, bass, whatever, keys, whatever it might be. Those guys were studying and they were good. They were really good. So I look back and I respect them. I want to learn from it, and if I can, I want to draw upon it and expand on it, if I can. Now, I don't presume that uh, I can take, you know, great stuff and make it any better, but I can make a little something mine, and if other people like it, then there we have it. It's just new music. So just the, the idea of bashing certain eras of music just because it's not yours, well, you know, I think that says a lot about the people that think that way. It doesn't mean that, uh, you know, people can't change their minds. God knows, you know, we all change our minds. There, I have, my tastes in music change. I just about guarantee if there are any other older players or music lovers out there, they'll say the same thing. That there was something around at one time they didn't particularly care for it. They heard it later and it's like, oh, yeah, I really like that, right? Or vice versa. So all I would say to those out there that are thinking that way, give music a chance. Open your mind. Now remember, young people are supposed to have such open minds, and they're green, and they're ready to go. I suggest you do that. Open your mind. Doesn't mean you have to keep listening to the same stuff over and over, and you know why you've heard it over and over, because it's great, and it's stood the test of time. But that doesn't mean you can't expand on it. Listen to this phenomenon of modern music is really kind of 
relatively new. It's, it's as old as the phonograph. So you have to remember, any music before that was just pretty much live. Whether it was a show, or just a few people sitting on their porch, picking some strings, or, what, or, or operas, or what have you. Uh, then the phonograph came along, and that changed everything. And then the radio came along, and that really changed everything. So, again, study what they studied. Take a look. Listen to it. Is there anything there? Is there something catchy? Something kind of catches your ear? I guarantee there is. Take it and expand upon it. Don't criticize it. Why would you do that? It's music. It's something that take it's a gift. Expand on it. That's my opinion. That's my suggestion anyway. So, all right, guys. That's from one dad rocker to maybe another and to maybe some younger guys that actually might have their ears open and an open mind that are listening. Don't knock music. Just expand on it, right? For joining us here at Rock Hard Riffs, please let us know how you feel in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next video.